Revelation 7, 3, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Here John is looking back to the beginning of the tribulation period, because the sea or trees, nothing has been hurt. And nothing will be hurt until the 144,000 have been sealed. They're sealed for two purposes. First, for safety, and they will make it all the way through the tribulation period. And secondly, they're sealed for service. They will be God's witnesses during the tribulation period. Since the church has been raptured and removed from earth prior to the start of the tribulation period, the 144,000 sealed Jewish evangelists will take their place and be God's witnesses during this time. Revelation 14.4 tells us that they are virgin men. Virgin showing their purity, and men, and unmarried men, and unmarried men because they will not have time to support a family during the seven-year period of tribulation. They will focus their whole time, energy, and efforts toward proclaiming the gospel of the Messiah uh, during this time. Now, some say that uh, these are really not Jewish people because uh, the usual list of tribes is, is not given. And here the tribe of Dan is left out, and we're really not sure why the tribe of Dan is left out. Dan is included in the millennial list of tribes. However, all he's going for here is the symmetry of 12. And I had always heard this uh, phrase thrown around, the usual list of tribes, and so I went into the Old Testament and did a study to find out what the usual list of tribes was. And I found out that uh, 12 tribes of Israel are listed a little over 40 different times throughout the Old Testament. And to my amazement, not one time were the 12 tribes of Israel ever listed in the same order. And in fact, in Deuteronomy chapter 33, the tribe of Simeon is left out. But here is included, and really nobody makes a big deal about Simeon being missing over in Deuteronomy 33. So all he's going for is the symmetry of 12. 12 was the number of ruling and governing. Jesus said to his 12 disciples that they would sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Because really there were 13 tribes, but they always boil it down to 12. Now after this, in verse 9, John says, He saw a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, kindreds, and peoples, and tongues, who stood before the throne, before the Lamb, clothed with white robes. Who are they? Verse 14, These are they who came out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. So first, John sees the 144,000 sealed Jewish evangelists. Then he sees a great multitude of people who get saved during the tribulation period. The implication is that this great multitude comes to faith through the witness of the sealed 144,000 Jewish evangelists. Imagine 144,000 Apostle Pauls running around. Uh, they're going to turn the world upside down. They're going to lead the greatest revival in the history of the world. And the Jewish people are really perfect for this because you find Jewish people around the world in almost every country and they uh, speak over uh, a hundred different languages if you were to uh, assemble them from all these uh, different countries. And they do such a great job that John says uh, the great multitude came to faith and it was so great he couldn't even count the number. Now later in the book of Revelation he sees an army of 200 million. Well, apparently he could count up to 200 million. This could be even more than 200 million, upwards of a billion people, because it was so great he said he couldn't even count them. So the 144,000 will lead the greatest revival in the history of the world with hundreds of millions, perhaps even a billion people coming to faith in Jesus during the seven-year tribulation. Because when is it that people come to faith? Is it during a time of peace and prosperity? No, it's during the times of trial and tribulation, and this will be the greatest time of trial and tribulation in the history of the world.